they scare you? <laughs> well, when I start getting a lot of questions about solar and what my solar is like, I know it's time to revisit the subject. So, it's solar time. It's solar time, yeah. Miller time. <laughs> well, I've got a wet cloth. Well, I'm talking, wanna, wanna wipe it down. My solar is a very simple design. I have to keep things simple. That way I don't have to pay somebody to do it. And I picked up my design from, I mentioned him before, Will Prowse. And when he was a nomad, he was in California. He bought a minivan, he was down near LA. He bought a minivan. He's had a few rigs before, he bought a minivan and he put a flexible panel like mine and he put it on his minivan and he taped it like I did, yeah. And I thought, that's ingenious, I love it. I love that, uh, that design. So eventually when I became a nomad and I finally, finally did it. Now I also have a, a fold up, a soft panel that I put outside. It's not for putting on top of your roof, but to lay it outside. And I have a 15 foot extension cord and I don't really use it anymore because that would require sitting outside with it if I'm in the city, which I am in the summer mostly, and uh, sitting outside with it because I wouldn't want it to get, I can't just walk away from it in a park. Um, it would get stolen, so. Here's where the wire, the connections are that go into my window. See, the tape is kind of coming off here. So I've got everything washed off here. As you can see here, that some of the tape is coming off, but there are three layers on here. I believe this is the bottom layer. It's not going anywhere and this is going to be on for a while. Now, this is a Renogy solar panel. It's a flexible solar panel. And the link is in my uh, Amazon storefront, Minivan Lee's Amazon storefront. And I've got the link for that in my video description and on my website. And it's also in the video description. You just click that little carrot sign and it'll bring it down. Along with all the other things that go with my solar. Like I said, I like to keep things simple. And this really is working for me. Now I've got two Jackeries inside my minivan. I've got one parked near my passenger where my passenger seat was. And I've got it sitting on top of a, a large bin. That's the area where I do the charging. So if you can see, I've got the connectors here and they these are attached to a 10 foot extension cord and then it goes in to my window the pop-out window I got it coming through now the extension cord moves along the right side on the inside of my minivan around the window it goes behind my dresser where the passenger seat was and so that I can plug in my Jackery there when it needs to be charged up. I also have a Jackery that is parked in my living area of my minivan. Now that's where I do most of my sitting and I sit on the floor. So that's my living area and I have the, the powered up Jackery is in an area where I can plug in my phones or plug in anything else. So what are my power needs? 
because both of the jackeries work great and they fill all my needs. One would not, but two is perfect for me. Now, I don't have a refrigerator and I don't have uh, some of the other things that uh, you larger vans or you build outs would have. Yeah, I mean, I don't have those. Now, I know that some of the tape is coming up up there and as it, as it starts lifting up, I'll get rid of it or I'll cut some of it off. And when this, it, when it gets down to where um, I've taken enough off, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna let this tape come off kind of naturally. Yeah, I don't think I really needed all that tape. And I'm just gonna, as it needs to be pulled up, I will pull it up. Now, what I thought about this is when I do want to exchange this out, what I'm gonna do is get like a box cutter or a knife and just go around the edge and cut this off and get up the tape the best I can. I'll never resell this van. I'm gonna use this van for as long as it's gonna you know, serve me well and then get something else. Although, keep going. <laughs> Items that need to be charged via USB are my speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but it does need to be charged up. This is waterproof, by the way, in case it gets thrown in the pool. I have two of these, but these are little battery packs. But they do need to be charged up. My headlamps. I check this every once in a while to make sure that, you know, it's charged up. I don't use it that often, but when I do need to use it, I like it to be ready to go. Let me get that in there. Yeah. My two little flashlights. These are chargeable, USB, and I like to keep them charged up, especially this one. You know, I love this one. Yeah, I love this one. Woo! And, uh... I use this every morning. When I need to get into my drawers and it's dark out in here and I still have my curtains up, I just, I keep it over here and I pull it out and I kind of look, yeah. There we go. My USB chargeable toothbrush. It charges and then I use it. I don't keep this plugged in, but when it runs out of power, I plug it in. It's USB, I love it. You know, it's like an electric toothbrush. This is my water pick. I like to keep this charged up. I don't use it all the time, but especially boondocking I do because it can kind of leave a mess. I can go outside and use this water pick and it's superior. I use my headphones when I'm out walking. Of course, I've got two phones that have to be charged up. I've got a hyper tough light, it's magnetic, and that needs to be charged up. And of course, my fairy lights. I don't charge those, but I do plug them in USB. And then, of course, I've got my fans. Those don't require charging, but I use my Jackery. It's USB. So those are my needs. They're not heavy needs for, uh, for my solar, but I would say it's probably low to medium needs to keep these things charged up and ready to go. I also have, I don't use my jump starter often, but there is a pack in here I could use as a battery pack, but I like to keep this charged up in case I have to charge up, jump start my battery. And I like to check this and make sure that it's charged up. So let me check this now and let me see what uh, percentage I'm at here. Hundred percent, yay. Okay, that's good, just in case. And I don't use my battery to ever charge anybody up. A mechanic told me, well, Robert, my friend Robert, yeah, <laughs> he's out there somewhere. Um, Robert told me that if you are using your battery with jumper cables to charge somebody up to get them jump started. It can hurt your diodes. You don't know how many are being damaged, but you are possibly, most likely damaging some. And it's sort of like 
I always liken it to brain cells. I mean, if you're going to drink, drink. But it is going to kill some brain cells. You don't know how many, but it will damage some. So there you go. These are what my needs are for my solar, for energy. This is the right side of my van, the passenger side. And the cord is coming in through here. It's coming in. It comes through here. This is the extension cord, the MC4 10 foot extension cord. The link is in my storefront, Amazon, and also in the video descriptions down below. It comes through here. It comes around here. Now, I do have gray tape over this because the cord is black and then white, positive and negative. And because of the red, if it was all black, that'd be fine. But with the red, I don't want to look at that. So I put um, gray tape over it. Comes through here. It goes behind here. And it comes out here. This is the Jackery that is ready to, and it needs to be powered up. I'm at 22, which is not good. I've only got, I'm trickling in four watts and that's it because I'm parked in the shade. Here's where it plugs in. When this is in and there's a little bit coming in, if there's anything coming in, this blue light comes on. I can always tell when it's starting to get light outside because in the morning, because I'll look over here and all of a sudden this blue light will come on. Even if I have all my curtains up, I know when it's light outside, it's starting to get a little light because something's trickling through. This is the second adapter. I bought this because if I'm out boondocking and I needed to use not only my solar up here for this Jackery, but now that I have two Jackeries, I might actually put out my fold out solar panel and put it out in the sun. Then I would need another one of these because I have to have the adapter. This is eight millimeter DC and it goes into the Jackery. These are MC4 connectors, male and female. You can figure out which is which. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, basically it goes into the extension cord. Oh, your solar panel like that. And then you done a push in and pull out MC4. This is what Renogy uses and a lot of other, you know, brands. But there are two different types of connectors. And they're not bad, they're not good or bad, but this is the one that Renogy uses, so this is what I do. I get this, and this is the adapter, and the link is in, well, you know where. It's either in the video description, and it's in um, my storefront. I know I say it so often. Yeah. Amazon, Mini Man Lee, Amazon storefront. Okay, let's put this. Might as well wind it nicely. So I'm not going to be using it, but I have this handy. I'm not using it now. I don't need it because I only have one solar panel that I'm using and it's up on my roof. What do we got now? We have, we have five watts coming in. I'm going to have to... Probably tomorrow I'll go drive again. It seems to, it, it's filling up. It's storing energy when I'm out driving. I don't use my car cigarette lighter. I'm not even going to explain why. I just don't use that. Now, some of you suggested that I go to the library and sit at the library to power up uh, and take my Jackery. And these are heavy and it's big and I'm not going to do that. And I said that maybe people might laugh at me or whatever. People say, who cares? Well, I don't really want to carry it in. <laughs> I really don't. I don't want to go sit at the library. Um, if I'm going to sit at the library, that also means that my rig is going to be sitting out in the sun, which is, which is taking care of it. Now I suppose, um, and some of you suggested that I go into the airport. Ooh, no, I'm not going to go into the airport. You know, these could, 
Yeah, I'm a, I would probably get looks by security that uh, I'm carrying some bomb or something. No, no, no. I don't want to go to the airport. I <laughs> don't want to do that. If you if you were a nomad, you would understand why. Um, I think maybe a comment like that would come from somebody who's I'm not really uh, a nomad, you know, and carrying big, heavy jackeries around. They'd be like, somebody would probably come up to me and ask what it was. So, and I don't want the attention like that. Not from authorities. So, okay. And, uh, going and sitting in a library isn't my cup of tea. So I could sit at a park and I will get these powered up. I, yesterday, just driving around for a while, I got my other one powered up to like 85 and this one will get powered up tomorrow. I'll get back up. I know when I um, am getting so low that I have to like either go drive around, go sit in the sun somewhere and uh, put up with the heat. So thank you for the suggestions though, but um, it's not my style or it's impractical for me. salad. I made some for you. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> before I taste it, I'm going to explain something. I get comments, not from all of you, but every once in a while, there's a comment. And I got a few on the last one that I made using canned foods. You say, that's so unhealthy, too much sodium. Well, first of all, you can get canned foods without sodium. Yeah. And another issue is I don't use canned foods that often. I use fresh produce. What I'm showing you is foods that can be made quick and easy for quick meals. And I, I think this is healthy. I love peas. Now, am I going to go out and buy fresh peas and then I got to steam them or cook them? No. Too much, too much heat inside my minivan. I like to keep it cold and keep it cool. I don't want to heat up. I'll do coffee in the morning, but that's about it for heating up. And then, um, or I might heat up some soup. You know, in some ways, what I've been doing is eating the soup cold. I want the nutrition, but I don't want to heat up my minivan. There's a heat wave going on. So, and then I'm in a dry climate, even in Reno, it's so dry here. I have to keep my humidifier going. So do I worry so much about salt? No, I'm sweating so much out that I really do want to retain a little bit of the moisture in my body. We sweat a lot right now. I'm not back East where the humidity is so high. No, I'm in the West. I'm in the wild West here. So pea salad and I mentioned this, and some of you, especially you, David, shout out to David, you said, ooh, uh, why don't you show us the pea salad? Well, it's so simple. Three ingredients, peas, chicken, and some. a lot of you say, hey, show us how to use that canned chicken. Well, there you go. And then I used uh, my ranch dressing. And the link for the little packets is in my video description and my storefront. On my Facebook, some of you said, where did you get all those? Well, I buy them from Amazon. They come in a box of 60. 
And a lot of times I have to buy them like, um, you know, um, every month and a half I have to replenish. So let's try this out. So don't think I eat this way all the time. I'm eating apples and I'm eating tomatoes and cucumbers and celery. That's what I munch on. I'm eating nuts. I've got uh, cranberries and raisins and dried apples. And there's some walnuts in here. And somebody gave me red. Shout out to red. Where are you, red? Get back here. <laughs> I get back. He gave me a whole huge bag of uh, pecans. I love pecans. So these are things that I munch on. I'm not an unhealthy eater. I understand nutrition. So, yeah, I mean... Um, I got these two from the dollar store, the little packs, and it's got some banana chips and uh, almonds, things like that. So, yeah, I mean, I don't always eat this, but you can get canned foods without salt. So, okay, I just wanted to say that. So, if you plan on saying that is so unhealthy, no, <laughs> don't do it. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of peas. Mm. Mm, I love peace. 